All right, everybody, as you can see, Nathan is now on the other side of this uh, camera. <laughs> We're going to start the canning process for the spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to let him kind of give you a background on how to start and what he does to get all this going. Yeah, so the, the sauce, the first batch that we're doing today is on the stove. So at the point you get your sauce on, you want to start thinking about getting your jars hot. So Nikki and I pressure can everything. We never water bath can anything that we're going to preserve long term. Uh, we do use a water bath canner to heat jars when we need it. But the first step, since this is going to be a hot pack, uh, it'll be hot sauce going into the canner. You want to pack that into a hot jar. So one kind of shortcut you can use is to take the jars you're going to use. Uh, we've got six quart jars, wide mouth jars. We filled those to the top with water and then put two or three inches of water in the bottom of this canner and have just turned the heat up high. So that will raise the temperature of the jars. We'll get that up to about 190, 200 degrees. Kill any bacteria, any germs, anything that's on them. And at the point that we're ready to fill the jars, we'll dump the water out of them, move them to the counter, and put the sauce in. So, first step, uh, and we'll show you step by step through this. There's a lot of canning videos on YouTube. You can get a lot of stuff, but we've got this down to a science. I think that works pretty well. So. We're going to let these jars simmer for about a half hour along with the sauce and then it'll all be ready to go in the pressure canner. So stay tuned. Okay, so Nikki's sauce is done. Um, the jars are hot. We tempt them. They're probably over 190 now. So we got hot jars to pack, hot liquid. Uh, the first step in getting this ready is to take your rings and put them in a pan, saucepan. Then take your lids and layer them on. We're doing six quarts, so we've got six rings and six lids. And once they're in here, you can take those hot jars and cover those lids and rings. That's gonna get the sealant on those lids hot and pliable so everything will seal up better. So there's one quart of water and one hot jar. There, and that covers those. And just let that sit. The other thing you can do is we're going to pressure can is take an empty pressure canner and put at least two quarts of this hot water in there. So once that's got hot water, that's what you'll use to pressure can the sauce when it's packed and ready to go in. So we'll also throw just a little bit of vinegar in that water to keep your jars clean. They won't get hazy that way. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the dog. Ryan's got visitors. <laughs> Once that's in, I'm going to hand off with Nikki, and she's the expert here. So this sauce reduced down quite a bit, and that 
fairly thick. So you can just take your ladle and make sure you have a funnel on your jars or it will go everywhere. Wow. There's a fill line on every jar at the very top and you'll see it when she's done. She'll leave some head space there. We taste tested this sauce and it was super delicious. <laughs> it was very good. Had a little spice. Yeah, it did. A lot of peppers. With the poblano and the Cajun bells. Sometimes we'll, uh, like last year we didn't grow Cajun bells, so we put a couple jalapenos in. And the heat is pretty much the same, so that's all the more I'm going to put in the two yep. these jars. So then you just move on to the next one. Yep. I'm going to let her fill these jars and then we'll come back and show you the last few steps to getting this canned. Hi everybody. Uh, we have all of our jars filled up with our spaghetti sauce. Uh, the jars have been sterilized. Um, once you get these jars filled, you just want to kind of wipe off the top rim of them to get any excess food and stuff off so the lids will seal. And we have sterilized the lids and the rings in this pot. So you can go ahead and get all of your lids on here and secure them with the rings. I don't put the rings on too tight. I'm mostly just looking for that seal, so get these going. And we have the pressure cooker on the stove. So once you get those rings on, they're ready to be put into the pressure cooker. I'm going to switch Nate here so he can show you this process for the we pressure cooker. took the hot water out of the, out of the jars of the uh, hot water canner and since it was already hot and it boiled quickly, sorry Nate. <laughs> I'll clean it up. Yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm going to drop, not drop, set your jars <laughs> in so that they're not touching. The pressure canner will hold seven quarts. We've only got five. We thought we'd get six quarts out of these batches. We got five. We let the sauce reduce quite a bit though, so it would be a thicker sauce too, so. Yep. So there's all five jars. They are in, they are not touching. Put the lid on your pressure canner. And seal it. And you can hear, it's already making pressure. Um, we want to let this vent run and let steam run out of it for three or four minutes and get all the oxygen out of the pressure canner. And once that happens, then we'll put the weight on, it'll make pressure, and we process for 25 minutes. So we'll show you those steps and be back. Okay, so the pressure canner has exhausted a whole bunch of steam. You can see it shooting out of there. Nikki's gonna go ahead and put a 10 pound weight on the vent. And that is gonna build pressure. Now normally, it would take a few minutes for this button to pop up, but it's already boiling water pretty good. So that dial is gonna to start to climb and the weight will dance when it gets to 10 pounds. And then those jars just have to process at 10 pounds for 25 minutes. So when that's done, um, I think we'll probably show you the finishing touches and really the hard work's about done. All right, our jars are finished processing in the pressure canner. Um, this stopped dancing and this little 
uh, button drop. So I'm going to take this off and twist this. Be careful of the steam. It's very hot. Set this down. And these tongs help a lot with getting these jars out. So you can carefully lift these out. We always put like a tea towel underneath a cookie rack or something, but you can see it's bubbling in there. Um, when these seal, there's a little, I call it a little button on the top, but they're still sticking up. When they seal, those will sink in and, that, and you'll hear a pop and that's how you know they've sealed up. If you happen to have one that doesn't, pop and the little button in the middle doesn't go down, you can put the jar in the refrigerator after it's cooled down and use it um, within like a week or so. Here's the last one. So that is all there is to that. We're going to wait for these to pop and seal and um, hope you get some inspiration to can your own uh, vegetables and spaghetti sauce.